Successive differentiation. Let's start with a, a, an example. Suppose y equals x to the fifth. We take the derivative and we get 5x to the fourth. Well, that's the first derivative. We've done it once. Do it again. And we end up with 20x cubed. Do it again. And we end up with 60x squared. Do it again. We end up with 120x. Again, 120. And then finally, the last differentiation, the last derivative of 120 is 0. And then we can differentiate that 0 until the cows come home and then let the cows do some differentiating themselves, it's always going to be zero. So we have differentiated this function into oblivion. You can't do that with any function, but this function we did it. There's a couple of different types of notation you're going to see. But first, let me say this. I have seen that a lot of you have downloaded Calculus Made Easy by Sylvanus Thompson, link in the description. And so that's awesome. A lot of you are following this. If you have not yet subscribed, take a moment to do this, to be notified of uh, future videos. And uh, now back to our program. Nomenclature, you often see f of x to mean any function of x, whether it's x squared or sine x or two to the x. So the derivative of this generic function f of x is f prime of x. It's just notation. That means the same thing as we did when we wrote uh, dy by dx. Now when we take the derivative of the derivative, that's going to be f prime prime or f double prime of, of x. So with the f of x notation, each time you differentiate, you're going to put another prime there. So like the fourth derivative is going to have four primes. Now, as you can see, that starts to get a little cumbersome too. So I've seen a Roman numeral four there at, at times. Um, whereas with the dy by dx, the Leibniz notation, you see the, you put a little number and it's just a matter of remembering where to put that stupid number. So there's your fourth derivative of y with respect to x. So we'll finish off with an example of all these successive derivatives of this polynomial function, we differentiate it into oblivion. There's your first derivative, your second derivative, your third derivative, your fourth derivative. That's not stop there, let's take the fifth derivative. And then you can derivatize as long as you like, it. nothing's gonna change. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Here's some more stuff for you to check out and Bob, is your uncle and cheers.